Hokey dokey. In this problem, we will be using the similar trapezoidal rule uh, like we used in the last video to answer this question. So let's get started, not wasting any time. Let's do x values in the first row. G values in the second row. Our x values will start at 4. And they'll go all the way to 36, but within 8 equal segments. So let's do our trick. We'll do the end value minus the start value, so 32. And then we divide that by 4, or sorry, divide that by 8 to get 4. So equals, let me do that in one felt swoop here. We get 36 minus 4 all divided by the number of equal segments, which is 8. So it tells us our width for each trapezoid will be 4. So we'll go from 4 plus 4 to 8. And that means we can highlight all these until we get to... 36, whoops, all right, so 4 to 36 split up by 8 sub-intervals, uh, and then trapezoidal rule, all right, so we want to first find the g values corresponding to these x values, so we just plug in the function, we'll do capital sign, uh, in parentheses, 2 times x, which is b1, plus 3, hit equals, or enter and then we drag that across and we get all these G values for these X values so now using the trapezoidal rule keep in mind we want to do equals it's always 0.5 off the start and then times the width of each trapezoid so the difference in X values for each of these trapezoids is 4 so that's our width times in parentheses we always do that first height plus 2 times the sum of all these in between values. Oh, right, okay. I need to put sum, then open parentheses, then click and drag all these in between height values to sum those up because those are the ones that are being multiplied by two. And then to finish it off with the heights, we do plus that last height. Close off that parentheses, and this, everything we plugged in, should give us the estimate for the area under the curve using areas of trapezoids added together. And so we get negative 1.58457, and that is our answer. Let's see if we can do one more. I think I have at least one more. Yeah, let's do this example here. I'll fire up a new Excel sheet, and we'll get started. So x values up top, g is on the bottom, starting at x equals 1, split into 4 equal segments. So at this point, you can probably get the gist, you know, 2 minus 1 is 1, divided by 4 is 0.25. So you know, 1.25, we can highlight these and then drag across until it says 2. So from 1 to 2, split up by 0.25 each time. Go ahead and plug in the function given, capital LN, 5 times x, b1, plus 1, we get this g value corresponding to 1. Click and drag across. We have all these. So same process equals always 0 0.5, always times the width, which is 0 0.25, times, in parentheses, the first height, plus 2 times the sum of the in-between heights. Close that off, and then plus that last height. And then we get... 212 or 2.12329 and that matches that next answer so very complicated uh, looking and seeming problems especially if you do them by hand can be simplified so much more when done in Excel so I hope this helps if you have any questions about how we go about Excel to do these problems or formula questions or anything just let me know